you wanted the best, you've got the best podcast. The hottest, hottest. podcast in the world. In the world. The Chris Voss Show, the preeminent podcast with guests so smart you may experience serious brain bleed. The CEOs, authors, thought leaders, visionaries, and motivators. Get ready, get ready. Strap yourself in. Keep your hands, arms, and legs inside the vehicle at all times because you're about to go on a monster education roller coaster with your brain. Now, here's your host, Chris Voss. Hi, folks. This is Voss here from the Chris Voss Show dot com. The Chris Voss Show dot com. Welcome to the big show, my family and friends. The Chris Voss Show family, the family that loves you but doesn't judge you. At least not as harsh as your mother because you skipped Thanksgiving dinner last year and she's still angry about it and rightly so. So see if you can do better this year. Uh, welcome to the Chris Voss Show, my family and friends. As always, we've been bringing you the billionaires, the CEOs, the the uh, newsmakers, the Pulitzer Prize winners, the advisors, the governments and White House stuff. And uh, little old me shows up, too, with a mic every now and then. We have all the smartest authors on the show and brightest minds. People that are going to, like, educate you, make you smarter. They're going to share their stories of their journeys with you. And out of it, you're going to emerge at the end of the, this and every podcast that we do two to three times a week, 10 to 15 times a week. Um, and uh, let's see. You're going to emerge more glorious, more radiant, more beautiful, more excellent. And just people are going to walk around you and just be like, my God, you have a the Chris Voss show glow upon you. <laughs> Might be radiation, Chernobyl, or it could be the Chris Voss show glow. You choose. Go with it. Uh, guys, go to goodreads.com, forward slash Chris Voss, YouTube, uh, YouTube.com, forward slash Chris Voss, LinkedIn.com, forward slash Chris Voss. Subscribe to that big, fat LinkedIn newsletter, man. That thing gets bigger every day. And uh, Chick Talk, uh, the Chris Voss one. Today we have an amazing young lady on the show. She's joined with us to uh, talk about uh, some of the things that she does and her newest book that she has coming out October 25th, 2023. My God, we're at the, almost at the end of 2023. I'm still in January. Uh, her book is called Sacred Union, Ascending to a 5D Paradise. Susanna Kennedy joins us on the show today, and uh, like I said, she's going to be giving us the enlightenment on how to 5D ourselves. Uh, she is an experienced ascension coach and a proud creator of Reality Crafting 5.0 Consciousness Technology. I get this on my phone now. Isn't that, is that what my 5G is included in my AT&T <laughs> plan? She's dedicated her life to helping individuals on their path to self-discovery, healing, conscious, manifesting, and ascension. Welcome to the show, Susanna. How are you? I am well. Aloha, Chris. So glad to be here. Aloha there. And you're coming to us from the uh, big Hawaii. I am the beautiful island of Kauai. There you go. Kauai. Is that how I'm supposed to pronounce it? Yeah. There you go. There you go. So give us your dot coms. Where do you want people to find you on the interwebs? SusannaKennedy.com. There you go. And give us a 30,000 overview of uh, what you do in your words. Well, I uh, help people to expand their consciousness and mm. uh, create their version of paradise. Mm -hmm. There you go. And, uh, you know, I, I have a version of paradise. Um, trying to come up with a joke about it, but I don't have one. <laughs> it's in my own private Idaho, though. But evidently, it's not that happy or something. It's, uh, I don't know. I, I don't have any jokes for it. I set that up and then nothing came through. So uh, you got this new book. <laughs> coming some of the jokes they die some they go it's it's just how welcome to the show uh, so uh this new book that you have sacred sacred union ascending to a 5d paradise what motivated you to write this and give us an overview of what the book's about yeah well um actually i wrote uh a earlier version of this book uh, mm -hmm. i started it like 20 years ago and at that time i was seeing uh what was coming which was the, um, the earth and humanity ascending to like raising their consciousness and being mm. restored to the original blueprint, which is a 5D reality and 5D people. Mm. And I, I saw that in order to happen, all the 3D stuff would have to fall away and be broken down. And, you know, so that was 20 years ago, seeing what's actually happening right now. Mm -hmm. So the impetus for this book um, is to say what's next and how, oh. do, how do we align with this 
thing that's happening where the the earth herself is raising her vibration into a place where you know what we would call 5d consciousness which is um, if you were to think of layers of consciousness mm -hmm. um, the lower layer of 5d is going to be love and peace and unity and 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 then all the vibrations above that or expressing that so it serves us to let go of our old 3D consciousness programming, uh, past wounds, and, and all of that that keeps us mired in the third dimension. Mm -hmm. And let go of that so that we can enter and enjoy that. So that's what the book is about. Um, I, I do my journey of the transformation that I went through and in these 20 years of helping people uh, raise their consciousness and then kind of a look at what it's what it's going to be like to give people incentive to do the inner work to get there there you go and you've been doing this for 20 years as you mentioned i have yes that's a long time i mean it, it, is. it is a long time and so in the book um you talk about some different things you talk about your personal ascension story tell us about your journey and your history and and what got you here yeah. Well, um, in 1997, uh, I was, uh, had been married and had two teenage children, and I was a business consultant. And I worked for a firm in Detroit that had the auto companies as their clients. And I designed training and performance solutions. Mm. And, um, you know, I just started, I got, got to that uh, everything that we say, you know, the American dream, but I mm -hmm. still wasn't feeling the um, the satisfaction, the fulfillment. And I kept asking, what is my soul's purpose? I don't mm -hmm. think that I was sent here to earth to teach guys how to run car dealerships. <laughs> <laughs> Like maybe so, it's the higher car dealership power that sent you here. Yeah, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, GM or Ford or something. Right, definitely. I was working with them. So anyway, I kept asking this question. And then one Saturday morning, I got woken up by this energy that was moving up my spine. Mm. It was like a freight train of energy. Mm -hmm. And it was... You know, my spine was undulating, I, it felt fiery, it felt electric, it was scary, wow. and I didn't know what it was. So I like, oh my God, what's happening? And then I heard a voice that said, you are giving birth to yourself, just breathe. Wow. So, yeah, so I had had two children and I had learned the Lama's breath, so I did that, wow. and it, it did help me to cope with it it mm -hmm. lasted for about an hour and a half mm -hmm. and when it was done i felt like a completely different person wow and i was like connected to this vast love and light and unity and everything you know and then but i could still see that there was this part of me that was like a computer program. It was, and it was my self-identity, my ego. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it, and it had, it was a collection of beliefs about who I was, but it wasn't really who I was. It was a false belief system that, you know, we all create that in our first seven years. And it's like, I knew that if I didn't clear that out and get rid of that old programming i wasn't going to be able to you know be who i really am which had just been birthed into my body my higher self and you know and do what i came here to do because that also came with a really strong sense of mission that i'm here to do something i don't know what it is but i'm going to find out and get doing it there you go I'm here yeah. to, I, I found my purpose and mission a, a long time ago. I had the same experience where I had a birthing. Um, I think it was after some Red Bulls and vodka, though. My mind's been different <laughs> than yours, not, not to, not to uh, delineate yours. But, uh, uh, but uh, uh, I found that my life first was tacos and pizza. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, that's an easy one to fulfill. It's really deep. 
Um, so there you go. <laughs> Sometimes I have the pizza with the tacos. People don't people don't know you can do that. Yeah. Um, so the title of your book, <laughs> the title of your book, Sacred Union. Uh, how do people achieve, or what does it mean to be in a sacred union with oneself and with others in the universe? Yeah, well, that actually is our natural state, and mm -hmm. that you know we are one with everything. And I know that that's a concept that gets thrown out there a lot. I was trying to figure out a way to really describe it. Um, so imagine that there's a tapestry that you're looking at. Mm -hmm. And it's a tapestry and it shows a village. And there's people and there's animals and there's plants and buildings. And, you know, when you're looking at the tapestry, you can see that that it's all connected, all the threads are connected, mm -hmm. but you can see the individual parts of that. Now, if you were to go into that tapestry and be part of it, it's living, it's moving, it's breathing, and you are, you feel your individuality, but because you're, you feel the connection, you feel the mm -hmm. oneness, you feel that you are th that. You, you, that's another expression of you. So, of course, you're, you're treating everybody with love and respect. And, uh, you know, they're in the fifth dimension, you are, um, it's all love, it's all joy. You're doing what you love to do. And you, there's, technology existing that helps make everything real easy so you spend most of your time looking to express the love that you are mm. so creative expression becomes you know valued and um, so that's what it feels like to be in that and so the sacred union that I'm talking about is actually letting go of all the illusions of separation mm. because unity and oneness is our natural state but we have all of these layers uh, of illusion that makes us think that just because there's empty space between you and me that we're not connected mm -hmm. you know and and we have uh, layers that separate us even within ourselves so you know, an illusionary separation between us and our higher self or source mm -hmm. or other people or, you know, our right and left hemisphere of our brain. And, you know, our mind is not working properly with our emotions. And, mm -hmm. you know, so there's all kinds of separation that we can get rid of because they're illusions. There you go. And and so our, the, what are illusions? Is that where we're just deceiving ourselves, where we have... Uh, where we have delusions of, of uh, what, what reality is, or we have we've convinced ourselves of different things that uh, that uh, are our own private Idaho sort of thing. Yeah, well, it's a perception mm -hmm. that is false. Mm. So, so that's an illusion. There you go. And how do you discover that it's false? How do you identify and go, this isn't true at all? What I'm believing. Yeah. Well. Um, when you know, when you really come to the knowing that you are love and light mm -hmm. in a physical body, mm -hmm. then all of those ideas that you're less than or you're not enough of or you're too much uh -huh. of, are you recognize them as illusions. They're not true. They were beliefs that you took on based mm -hmm. on what was going on in your environment and usually in those first seven formative years mm -hmm. and then those beliefs then create the events in your life and because they create the events based on your beliefs the events seem to validate your beliefs <laughs> uh. but they're they're not true in the first place so mm -hmm. yeah that's how we we clear them out by definitely yeah and so this is what you call the ultimate life upgrade to clear out these blocks and uh and you use some time-tested techniques to shed emotional baggage uh embrace your divine potential and align your higher self a lot of people carry emotional baggage i left mine at lax and uh <laughs> and haven't seen it since but uh i don't want it back um 
who, uh, what, what types of people will carry the most emotional ba- baggage or what sort of uh, things do you find they've experienced or, or how, do, how do you know if, how do you know if you're carrying too much emotional baggage? Well, because things aren't going right in your life and mm. you know you're you're getting into you know dramas are created you're getting mm. you're not getting along with people you you know your life isn't the way you want it i thought dramas have the fun though <laughs> yeah yeah well they're they can be fun and they you know and i've i have preferred to replace drama with magic <laughs> oh, that's good. That's much better. Uh, let, you know, people don't go to jail for, uh, you know, uh, crazy stuff. And, you know, there's less drama, the better. I see drama on the, uh, cops and, and TV shows all the time. So, yeah, probably drama is bad. Yeah, well, that's the only time I see it is if I watch TV because it certainly isn't in my life anymore. Yeah, that's, that's the smart way to do it. Um, so, Reality Crafting 5.0. Uh, tell us how this works. How do we get better at crafting Reality 5.0? Yeah. So uh, it, Reality Crafting 5.0 is kind of two, two layers to it. So one is that it's an overall system where I take people step by step through moving through it. So the first step, obviously, is to get rid of all the third dimensional beliefs, the limiting beliefs and the emotional baggage that they created. And then raising your vibration so that you are a a vibrational match for your higher dimensional self to come into your body. Uh And when you get to that point, then your start and your, your soul essence is really vibrating and radiating from your heart without any filters. Mm-hmm. then you start attracting the people who are who you're meant to be with your soul family um, the soul purpose and all the resources that you need to fulfill it mm-hmm. and you know and then you can you're clear enough to consciously create mm-hmm. so and and that's where I the reality crafting 5.0 is also a session that I do where I, with a client, we tap in and they take, say, one aspect of their reality that they would like to upgrade. Mm -hmm. And I have the ability to kind of like read all of the frequencies. And I'm really gotten good at being able to create an intention Mm -hmm. that that works for their highest good. And a lot of times people will say, well, you know, uh, there's something about, you know, my relationships and I, you know, and, and they say, I don't know how to say it, you know, but mm. then I, I, can, I can tap into what is the highest potential as far as their relationship goes uh-huh. and form, formulate a, an intention. And then we call up anything any vibrations, any frequencies, old baggage, old beliefs, whatever it is that's in resistance to this new reality that they want to create. Mm -hmm. So you clear out the resistance and then you, that resistance energy gets transformed into creative energy. Mm -hmm. And so instead of resisting, it's the creative energy that then fuels that intention. And then you anchor it in, and then it starts to um, radiate out to the rest of your reality. So anything that needs to change in order to let that new creation unfold will gracefully change, and then the, the new reality is manifest. There you go. And how to move right from one to the other. Uh, when you work with clients, uh, what do you what do you think uh, is their biggest challenge that you see a lot of people struggling with these days? Um, feelings of not being enough, oh. you know, self image feelings and worthiness, and um, yeah, a lot of that. And you know, that's that's really an important starting point because. You know, when you can come into love and compassion for yourself and really see yourself as mm-hmm. a being of love and light, then you know that you're 
you're here for a purpose too. And, you know, you're not here by mistake is, you know, you didn't do anything bad. You're, you're here and you're here to contribute to this planetary ascension that's going mm. on. And, and you can clear away all the obstacles and then get, get doing what you came here to do. Everyone is needed. There you go. Yes, everyone needs to find their purpose and what's important. In fact, some people need to find their purpose more than other people. So tell us, uh, what, you talk in the book about how to unlock the secrets to higher dimensional manifestation. What is higher d dimensional manifestation? Okay. Well, that is, um, first of all, connecting with that part of yourself that is the, that's connected to source creator, so the original mm -hmm creator of all that is so you get into that ask that that's the highest aspect and that has the creative authority in your reality so you connect with that and then when you are um, creating and you're using your imagination to create something new mm -hmm. that is a fifth and higher dimensional um, creating you know because the imagination is not part of the mind it's mm. you know the mind is a, a information processor and the database that it refers to is the past oh. so, so it doesn't know how to imagine or create anything new oh. which is which is another reason why you want to clear out the old programming because you can't really create anything new with all of that programming. So it's it's really good to get that rid of that first. So we have the uh, highest self that you can be, mm -hmm. and the imagination is uh, triggered, and then you create and you get the feeling, so the feeling energy of it, uh, mm -hmm. that it's already there, that it's all, you're great, you're, grateful that it's already happening it's already there that energy of gratefulness mm -hmm. gratitude is a really high frequency energy and it really is the best to get your creations going because you you know you can actually feel that you're in that rea new reality you're having fun i always imagine i'm you know on the phone telling my friend about oh gosh we did, this just happened and it was wonderful and this happened and you know, and that really gets me excited and in that space of gratitude. Mm -hmm. and, and then once you've got that as the intention and you've removed all the resistance, then you can anchor it in to your reality and have it gracefully integrate into the, the bigger picture of your life. There you go. Probably really important to have that graceful part because, uh, you know, you get that integration well. Yes, for sure, for sure. Because, you know, you, people want change fast sometimes, or they think they do, but... Want it now. Yeah, so, but, you know, to think about what needs to happen in order for that to, to unfold, you know, could very well not be graceful. So you want to have the, the best ratio of quick, easy, and graceful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quick, easy, and graceful. That's the best way to do it. So when you work with clients, uh, tell us about your coaching programs and your offerings that you have on your website here. I think I see you have some stuff that you do with people. Yeah, well, I, I have the Emotional Mental Detox Program, which is something that they, which is that deprogramming. So that's mm -hmm. deprogramming subconscious and clearing out all the emotional uh, baggage. Mm -hmm. And I have that offered as a do-it-yourself, you know, a digital product. Mm -hmm. So they, they can do that. If you want more support, we can do that with um, coaching. So I can mm -hmm. coach you through it. Um, and then my, my VIP package is to, um, to actually do the reality crafting sessions alongside mm -hmm. of that. So you do an emotional mental detox session, you can do that on your own or with me, but then the next week, we after that's had a chance to integrate, then we do the upgrade of that part of your reality and, and go through the sessions that way. There you go. Uh, and so I noticed you have a free offering too on your website. Yes. Tell us about yes. that. 
Yeah, the triple flame activation. So that is a very, very powerful meditation that um, it calls in divine light, divine love, and divine wisdom. And they call it the triple flame because divine light is yellow, divine love is pink, and divine, oh. yeah, the divine power is blue. And so, and that's the energy that many um, spiritual teachers have used for healing, for purification. And so, what that does is it it does a purification on your uh, energy system. Mm. And you know, so and it and it works with your higher self, that that part of yourself, the I am presence, I call it, or we a lot of people call it, mm -hmm. and uh, it clears everything out. Oh. Um, it clears the meridian pathways. So the meridian uh -huh. pathways are the energy pathways that the life force moves through, mm -hmm. and it go and it's distributed to our organs and systems, and that's where trauma can get stuck oh. and so if we clear out those pathways first then when we go to do the detox the emotional mental detox mm -hmm. and we call up the things that were hidden and suppressed and they might be you know in your body or they might be in the you know fourth dimension or something around you but we call it up and it moves up the spine and it, then it has no resistance Wow. So, so then you don't have to re-experience whatever trauma that put it there. Ah, you can clear that out. Yeah, so it, it makes it much more graceful. But it, it, you know, it customizes itself to each person. So some people, you know, if you're feeling depressed and you don't have a lot of energy, it can help clear out that real dense energy and help you feel, you know, more uh, energetic. You know, but if you're all wired up and keyed up, it could help you to relax. So it, it'll do what you need it to do. There you go. Uh, so this has been pretty insightful. People should pick up your book, see if they can get to the 5D part. I think I've been stuck on 3D and I just need to upgrade my phone or something. Is that how it works? <laughs> Wait, 3G. That's a different thing. I don't know. That's a different thing on your phone. <laughs> I always get those confused. There you go. So uh, as we go out, uh, Susanna, give us your final thoughts and pitch to people to uh, sign up with your services, get to know you better, and reach out to you. Yeah, well, you know, my mission is really now about helping others to to reach their highest potential. Mm -hmm. And I have lots of uh, services and products to help them do that. And it's just so important right now because we're at that that crossroads and you know in order to get into the higher dimension and and for us to all enjoy that fifth dimensional paradise mm -hmm. you know this is this is what we have to do to get there so and like i said before everybody has a purpose you're here for this time mm -hmm. and we need you to be all that you can be and contribute what you came here to contribute Definitely. We all need to be who, who all we can be. But we, some of us need to be more who we can uh, all be more than others. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so there you go. Well, uh, Susanna, this has been really insightful to have you on. And I hope people pick up your book and check it out. Uh, give us your dot coms one last time as we go out. It's SusannaKennedy.com. So that's S-U-Z-A-N-N-A. Kennedy, K E N N E D Y dot com. There you go. Thank you very much, Susanna, for coming to the show. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. There you go. And thanks, audience, for tuning in. Go to goodreads.com, Fortress Chris Foss, LinkedIn.com, Fortress Chris Foss, and we'll see you guys next time. And that's